Hello my lovely Virgo, how are you loves? I hope everybody's well. Virgo, today we'll do your weekly energy for the second week of December 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. Take what resonates, love, leave what doesn't. As you always know, I might speak directly to you, I might speak directly to your situation or towards your cross-watcher. That's why I always try to tell all of you to get what is yours. And as well, Virgo, this week we do have a solar eclipse and a new moon in Sagittarius. And quite strong energy comes for all of you. As you always know, I am a Virgo moon and my mom, my mother is a Virgo and I have so many relatives Virgos. So basically, I am surrounding by Virgos. Flexible sign as Sagittarius. But let's see here, loves, for you and for your energy, what's coming to you, Virgo? And what are those predictions? What you need to be aware and how the things are coming for you this week. Also, Virgo, I feel here as in my meditation, Spirit says, you are working on your balance or trying to get balance into your life, a more stable energy. And there is a thing here is like I'm blocking whatever makes me sad. It's like if somebody comes with anything negative, you're just like, well, well, I appreciate you want to say something, but no, thank you, kind of. Like you right away cut them off or you right away try to not allowing anything negative into your life, which that is very beautiful energy. But let's see here, my loves, what the spirit want to share with you and how this place for you and in your energy. Emperor, Aries energy, but I feel here at this time it's just like, well, taking action. You might deal here with an Aries Leo Sag, but I feel here for many of you Virgos, you are taking action or you are starting taking action for what you truly believe it's yours. That's quite beautiful energy. Let's see. Ten of Swords, something here is over for sure. Nine of Cups is like, I, I just wanted that to be over because that was quite exhausting. And I'm very clear, crystal clear for what I want now or what I need to do now. Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you are divorced, separated from somebody or was a situation here in your family which you wanted to get over it and to move forward with your life. Yes, for sure. For some of you, you, it is a move here. It's like you traveling this week within six days. Six of swords, that's days. Swords for me are days. And I feel here this this week, you, you might get away from something here where you are moving on. It's like there is some travel here. For some of you, yes, the, the times in this time, you know, uh, this year. But believe it or not, loves, there's a lot of people who are traveling, still traveling by car, by airplane, whatever it is. But I do see here there is some move. And the move, yes, might be traveling. And the move might be, you know, physical move, might be energetic move. But I feel here by your own strength and initiative. Four of Pentacles, Magician. I feel here whatever you've gone through could take you even four years. That was a long time you've been dealing with something. And here you are. Here you are, loves. It's like I want to change. And you're looking what I can do for this. I see you, Virgo, here, and I indeed see here a fire sign. But you might have fire in the chart. You might deal with a fire sign. But what I'm feeling here, there is something here is like clear and overdone. Because I see you single and looking forward, like what I got to do, what I really want now, what I do really want to manifest at this time. Okay? 
and there is something here money might not be quite awesome but i feel here is like it's like i don't make big money but i don't even spend much money and other thing here is like what you thought it's stable prior that changes big time now and i feel here you have you have new projects in your mind because you might be a good entrepreneur or somebody who has a lot of ideas, brilliant ideas, business ideas, career, things like I can do more. But now you might feel like, well, I don't have too much in my pockets, but what I can do with what I have. Also, there is a Virgo here who got through the dark night here. But he's like, well, that's over, clear. And it's like a, a new path is on the horizon for you. It's like a life-changing energy comes to you. And th that's the move you want to do. But let's clarify here some energy here. Let's see. Ten of Swords. You leave behind confusion and a lot of emotional baggage here. Also, you you might be feeling like unlucky. I'm not as lucky and it's kind of you, you try to hard back then or in the past, but it's kind of when I try to get just like, you might start a lot of things here and none of them worked. So then you kind of slow down and then it's like, what works for me? What is real thing for me? One more card here for this 10 of swords. Page of wands. For some of you, you somebody here betrayed you. That's a, a fire sign. Somebody who had a lot of options or indeed somebody here might had a lot of options here. And I feel here there is something here you emphasizing even from another past life could be a karmic energy here you care or they care. But what I'm seeing here, there was something here in regard to somebody or in regard to some messages from somebody. And I feel here you try to do all what you can, but then you feel like, well, Every time I try something new, something else, I do fail. So I'll just like get clear with that and I don't want to do this. And then the other person will feel like, what? So I feel here somebody here thought like they, they got it all. They can do it all. Also, for some of you, there was a situation here ended in betrayal with somebody. Six of Swords, where you are moving, where you are going. Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Moon. There's something here kind of scares you. You might have here a missed opportunity with somebody and the Moon could be the mother of your kids or there's something here you've been afraid to do but I feel here you, you need to make some changes in that. Yes, I feel here there is a, there's a thing here. You are, you are decided to go. Even feels like, well, I don't know how it will be. Six of Swords leaving behind a situation that didn't make you any favor. But I feel here you've been afraid to leave it for a long time but feels like as much as you try to work it doesn't so right now you decided to to change some things out there so my virgos here who are watching you might leave a piscean behind or a fire sign because i see i see water and fire energy here but i feel here your You've been fearing to leave something behind. Something here which didn't give you any satisfaction. And in the end got even worse here. 
yes absolutely it's like this this energy here didn't give me any peace with two of swords three of cups and four of swords that could be somebody here who put you in a third party you put them in a third party also what i'm feeling here there is like between you and this person cannot be even a friendship but i feel here there is there's a virgo here who who really needs like i really need my peace i really need myself back here and getting yourself back here you realize that you can do more because as you know sometimes when you you are in some certain certain of stress you have blockages because cortisol here is the stress hormones and very much block so many things in your body in your mind and you really needed to get away from something to to see where you are how you are and what you need to do okay also somebody here there's a virgo who leaves a family energy family situation and needs clarity from a specific person or from somebody here specifically four of pentacles what is here lovers ten of cups and strength and underneath again we have judgment here there is somebody here you might still love and you're hoping something from them but it shows me here that as much as you love that person there's something here about them with seven of swords ace of cups and five of wands also i feel here if you hold on one a specific person you still love that person or that person still loves you it's quite like a twin flame energy leo energy we have here as well the gemini but i feel here somebody got away when somebody offered something and that might be some sort of conflict here but somebody here got away because of the advice of others and that was the thing and could be you could be somebody in your life back then and that could be a secret connection you kept into your mind and you're still thinking of that could be the energy vice versa but I feel here there is something here you are not moved on and you want to take action or somebody wants to take action here. Yeah, you do love still that person. There is a, a person here from your past. You might not talk with them right now, but I feel here there is still love. That's a very deep love between you and that person. But hangman, I, I don't see it moved on or moved forward, that connection. And that could be um, a situation here you've been dealing for, from, or you, you've been working on. And I feel here now is the point when you walk away and you got that determination i gotta do that on the other side here virgo i feel here you are thinking do i need to go back do i need to do something about it or not let's see here hermit what are you here hangman eight of wands eight of cups judgment and here you are i feel here that if it's something here that you postpone or didn't really got up the ground you will 
communicate with that person. But I feel here, there is something here that somebody, either you, either them, moved on. Somebody here moved on. Because whatever talk you will have with who you can have, there is some sadness out there. Okay? There is some sadness here. But I feel here there will be a talk with somebody. Also, there's a lot of things changed around you, even in your life. And also a lot of ch things changing as we speak right now. It's kind of within six days and going forward in 2021. It's like till your birthday. That's what I hear. Till your birthday. There's a lot of things, my love, Virgos, are changing. And I feel here you are taking action towards them. You are taking action, loves. Yeah, absolutely. There is something here you you kept into your mind strongly. And it's kind of, I gotta do. I have nothing to lose if I ask, if I call, or if I contact the person. But there is some something here is like, I get I gotta get out from my mind this. And also, if I don't try, never goes in any direction. It will stay out there. So here we are, Virgo. I feel here there is a more peaceful energy coming for you. There is a new thing coming to you. There is another move. And we have right here the world. Let's hear. What's the new thing coming for Virgo? What's the new thing coming for Virgo? Spirit, give me some insights for the new thing coming to Virgo. Six of Wands. Overcoming some obstacles. And overcoming a lot of obstacles here. Six of Pentacles. Again, the balance, the stability. We've been talking here. For some of you, you are overcoming money, energy, situation in your finances here. Also, for some of you, you might you might work here and there, part-time or not. I feel here there is something here like a promotion and will not be just like a part-time, might be a full-time job for some of you. But I feel here you are overcoming a situation which you were quite imbalanced, quite toxic, quite waited for a long time to move forward. But I feel here your dedication is very important. Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, yes, been very hard financially, but I feel here that is improving. And yes, Virgo, you are somebody who works hard for what you really need. And you see six, seven, eight, one step at a time, which that quite beautiful. And we have in your reading as well, the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles. It's like, you are not doubting will work, will not work, will go, will not. It's like, I will put effort and I will get it. Even I need to dedicate myself nonstop. And here you are. The universe is blessing you. Wow. Virgo, good changes. Great changes, actually. And I feel here, that's, that's what I was looking. That's what I was manifesting. And yes, the struggle was real, but nothing is forever in this earthly life. Here we are, loves. I hope this resonates and gives you some insights for this week ahead. Love and light. And of course, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Your feedback is very much valued. Have an awesome and abundant week ahead. See you next time, loves. Namaste.